Hey everyone, welcome to Path to Nowhere. We're examining Mel's team build and let's see how we're going to be fixing her in terms of making her more efficient for your teams, for your heals. And we'll start off with skill priority. Which skills are we going to prioritize for her? So first and f first of all, you're going to have to make sure that her ultimate is taken care of. Okay, so this is priority number one. Enhances all effects dances brings uh, bring by... This is actually at 55.4%. This is already at level 6. So for 12 seconds during which she can automatically recover her energy. This will be raised to 15 once you um unlock her shackle once so that's a long duration and you should go for this one at the start second would be of course her attack because her attack is going to be used as basis for her heals it's also important that you increase her attack skill okay i'll show you that in a while third priority would be her life touch which gives damage reduction and the fourth priority would be infinite spin this just widens um enhances all dances by 0.5 and also widens the range of um i think this is going to be for healing okay so because this is this per this pertains to the effects of all dances are enhanced Okay, so again, her range will widen if you if if you know if you it, based on this skill. Okay, so that is it. So so bewitching dance is first because of her ultimate requiem because of her attack that is based on her skill, life touch because it's connected to damage reduction and the last one is infinite spin infinite spin sometimes you need you don't need the wide um area to cover but again it's good to have especially if it's leveled up okay so just want to show you guys um you will need to increase her attack stat here so for me it has a plus 49 here I'll tell you why in a bit. Uh, next after skill priority is going to be her crime brand. So this is where I'm going to tell you where she get the 49. It's actually here in the attack plus 6 because of two providence um, crime brands. And also for this one. This, um, this is already at the 10 over 10. So it's an additional 4.8%. 4. So that's a big increase. 4.8% plus six so that's roughly 10 something percent uh increase in her attack stat you need to increase that to increase her healing that is why i'm bringing these i don't see any other compatible you know uh, crime brands that you can use for her so must use providence and also for fury okay so let's move on to her deployment role okay so if you're deploying if you're deploying Hamel, make sure that you have someone in front of her that can that can block multiple enemies. Uh, because if you put somebody that you can only block um, one enemy, definitely Hamel cannot block anybody. So you should make sure that um, at least if you have somebody here in front of her that can only block some so only one enemy, then that um sinner should be you know should dish out a lot of damage to be able to um pick off enemies coming that sinner's um you know uh front uh and also should be um should be supported by a lot of damage as well but again the best would be putting somebody a blocker or a defender that can block two enemies in front again hamel is going to be a liability if someone reaches her because she won't be able to attack that enemy so you have to make sure that nobody reaches her square or these two these two hekate and summer would be able to pick that you know that enemy off 
as soon as it reaches her square. So again, her only liability is going to be blocking and attacking. As far as heals, she's going to do heals all day. As long as she is situa situated near um, and or adjacent to your other sinners. Um, again, she has, she has a skill that widens this range as time goes on. But again, um, if you start with this group, this is going to be okay. Okay, so we're with her shackle level. So first level of shackle, important is number one. Uh, although healing efficiency is good, uh, it's only a plus of 5%. Also try to aim for four because ultimate energy consumption is reduced by three points. So this is actually big as well, so that you could spam her her ultimate um, and the and and the refresh is about short. So that is it for her um, shackle level. At zero shackles, I don't think she's a liability. She's she's actually okay. You don't really need that much level in, in her shackles but again if you do have copies of her it would be better and she would perform better uh, well or even you know up to her optimum already as you go along with her shackles okay so is she worth it for phase three uh let's take a look at her um exclusive crime brand so attack plus 10 percent it's already gave you 10 percent right so that's around um Depending on what her level is, her attack also increases. So another 10% here. New exclusive ultimate path of compassion. Upon activation, Hamel's dance will undergo reversal. Requiem will become an effect that causes enemies within range to continuously lose HP. So she'll be able to d deal damage at this point. While life touch will become an effect that increases damage taken by enemies within range. Reversal effect will grow alongside and match the original skill level. Use the skill again to turn off reversal effect. So you can you can swap between the reversal effects, whether you want her to be more offensive or defensive. So I think she's a must for phase three. Um, this provides her with you know with a lot of versatility at this point. So again. No question, Hamel will be, you know, should be up to phase three. Um, she's actually second priority in my list after Nox. So there you go, guys. So that is it. Hopefully, I, you know, help you in your build for Hamel. And take care. See you in the next one.